I didn't go. I didn't go. I didn't go. What's up everybody, it's your boy Bomber Don't back on YouTube again. Just saying what's going on real right quick. I rate chance at ILTV Studios where we just make magic happen. Y'all know how to think goo. You know how it go. Yeah, I'm up, blow this cash. I did this shit on. This video is all about my pet dinosaur. Check him out. Tiny, tiny whiny dinny. As you can see, I'm sitting down to my desk, doing lots of work. I'm so busy right now, check it out. I'm going to work. I'm working. I'm working. I'm working very hard at it. Ooh. Oh! Such a dumbass. I ain't make it. Yeah, YouTube. Other thing goes. Your boy doing the back on the beat. Doing it again. Say, saying. It's really right. You're chilling. And this time around, I guess I got to answer a couple of questions. A couple of questions were sent to me via online but I picked a few questions that people ask me you know it's a, a lot of common questions that I receive and uh, I'm just gonna really answer the question for you guys if they get interested in answering these questions at the same time I got this little video I gotta edit for the wife right quick a quick video you say it's in but shh I'm telling nobody I edited in this video right now, you know what I'm saying? It might just get me in trouble. This can get you in trouble. Ooh. This can get me in trouble. Maybe, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we really got this video I edited in for the wife. She just did this launch video for uh, Icon. That's Lisa Wallace's brand, a popular Bahamian makeup artist and entrepreneur. Bringing out a line of stuff, and my wife wanted to check out the launch and you know, more or less buy some products from her and review. So you can check that out. Uh, go on Bahamian Unicorn on YouTube, she's gonna have the video up in a minute of the highlight when I finish. Also, she's gonna be reviewing a few products to let you know if they're good or if they're dirty. Yeah, but yeah, while I work, I'm just gonna answer these questions. First question come from Soccer to me 26. Soccer to me 26 asks, what does it take to be a good video editor? You know, and um, being a good video editor, uh, first of all, you gotta have patience, patience and determination. That along with vision, you gotta know what you wanna edit. You gotta see it happen. And sometimes you don't even know what you wanna edit, but sometimes you gotta let the edit basically create itself. It takes courage, persistence, determination. You gotta be able to watch things over and over and back and back. And yeah, have that kind of sense, you know, a skill. Being, being able to sit down at a computer and do the same thing over and over until you're satisfied with the clips. All right. Next question from random guy from space. He asks, "Why do you do YouTube videos?" Why do I do YouTube videos? Who knows? You know, it's maybe I'm trying to get paid. No, it ain't about the money. It's not about the money. You know, doing YouTube. If you're doing it for the money, you most likely can fail. You know, and, and I know a lot of YouTubers could resonate that fact. You got to be in it. You got to be able to offer something that people want to see. Me, myself, I don't even know what I'm offering, but i just doing stuff because I love to do videos. That's my thing. I've been doing it for a long time now. I took a break, a long break. And now I really want to get into it again, the way we always wanted. All right, next question from Panini Biscuits. Panini Biscuit Limbs. Panini Biscuit Limbs asks, do you get paid to do videos? No. As of this point, I do not get paid to do videos. I'm not monetized, I don't have any sponsorship, none of that kind of thing. But one day I hope to be on that level. Build your brand, build yourself, be brilliant at it, don't stop, and everything comes. Once you build it, they will come. Another question from RKO Jump Squad asks, who is your biggest inspiration? Well, uh, I don't know. 
so much people influence me and inspire me. But one of my biggest inspirations right now, as a stance, is my wife. You know, reason being not because she's my wife, but because, you know, I mean, wow, she teach me a lot of things that I don't know about myself. And things about her that I never seen in a person. You know, she teach me a lot. I mean, like, she inspired me, especially with the fact that she's multi-talented, she does a lot of things, and she's striving to do so much at a young age. It's inspiring, so I want to do the best that I could do to make sure she succeed whilst I succeed. That's pretty much it. You know, other than that, you know, I got my family, like my aunt who raised me and my uncle, you know, and my cousin, you know, big up. Big up uh, my cousin from Bahamas here, doing a thing, you see what I'm saying? She is an inspiration, you know what I mean? She is a go-getter and a doer. She really, really is an inspiration to me. She's been helping me a lot through the years, you know? She never really does the thing. I like that. Don't diss the thing. Last question from Control Freak. Control Freak asks, how can I make videos that don't suck? Oh, good question. How do you make videos that don't suck? I think to make a video that don't suck, you either have to have the video planned out to a T, or you can just take clips or whatever to create something abstract and creative, but put your time and effort into it. And sometimes you have to stand back and look at things like a viewer. You know, like, is this something that I want to watch? What can I do to make it better? You know? I don't always think about adding effects and all, all kind of effects. Some people get into video editing and the first thing they do is start to overkill with effects. More is less and less is more. That is what I have learned over the years of editing. But yeah, that's all the questions that I was given. You know what I'm saying? Fun fact. All the questions that were actually given to me, they're not by actual people. I made the shit up. Yeah, just so you know, I made it up. <laughs> Just wanted to put more content out there and give you guys something to watch. Now that thing go. Yeah, you see. Fun fact, again, this video that I am editing now, I shot everything on my cell phone. I shot the whole thing on my smartphone. And when it's done, I'm probably gonna have it done by the time I get this video out. So I'm gonna send you guys the link in the description box below so you can see what you can do with a cell phone you don't need big equipment or none of that kind of thing to start doing videos you just gotta know how to compose your framing you know not too much a head room where the head space like this on the people you know or they way in front of the camera like that so it look like they talk in the wall or they cut off or something like that you gotta know how to frame it up think about how TV frame up the stuff you can take your smartphone when you're doing stuff for YouTube etc it was not for Instagram. If for Instagram, you hold your video like this, your camera like this. If for YouTube, then you hold the camera like this, right? That's how you do it, right? So all you all who put the camera like this, that don't make no sense. You hold the camera like this, right? Take this doodle. Where are you going from? Huh? <laughs> yeah, if you hold the camera like this, but oh, 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 oh. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but make sure you always hold your camera like this. If you're trying to be an editor, you want to edit videos, hold your camera like this and shoot. It make a world of a difference. Because if you do your camera like this, you can have those nasty black bars on the side that you can't get rid of. All right? Yeah. Yeah, but that's another quick tip from me. Another little video so you all could watch or whatever. But stay tuned. We got more stuff soon directly. And yeah. Make sure you subscribe, like, comment, and let me know what y'all think, your thoughts. If you're trying to be an editor, what you want to do, you know, get your friends, try to practice some stuff, do some funny things, informational tutorials, whatever. Any questions about doing this kind of thing, just let me know. I would be sure to teach you because I love teaching people how to do this stuff. Each one teach one, each one reach one. Until next time, guys, I'm out. Peace.